still on my US trip here and I'm just at a place called uh, Diana's Falls, Diana's Pond, Diana's Pool. I'm not quite sure what this place is called, but it's a natural outdoor attraction here um, in Connecticut. It's just a little bit outside the stores, not actually in stores. And I brought along a couple, a, a couple of tools for the ride. One is my new uh, 4K action cam, which I got from uh, Amazon yesterday. Not a GoPro, but you know, it's got some nice features. Came with a little uh, waterproof case that I've been trying out. And um, I just brought along also the Vixia. So this is one of the first, one of the first videos I've been making with my uh, Canon Vixia HF or 800, which is for sure a uh, basic, basic camcorder. But I've got it here mounted up on the DJI Ronin SC, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago already in New York City. Uh, so you can get this, guys. I mentioned you can definitely get the camcorder on the gimbal. It's kind of tricky to get it stabilized. I'm pretty sure this footage I'm looking at the monitor here is a little bit rocky, but I thought I'd bring it along to try it out on these kind of uh, trail conditions. I'm just going to hit the trigger twice so the camera will spin around and you can see what I'm looking at here. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would be a, a cool place to try out some of the features. And you can see what this place is. It's this um, naturally occurring falls in the river here and uh, super scenic territory, lots of trees here. Uh, the falls are actually surprisingly powerful so you got to be really careful. My father-in-law just uh, went into them uh, for a bit of a swim and almost got carried away in the currents. Um, but yeah, really beautiful scenery. So all around here is basically these um, forests as you can see. And I'm just trying to, I'm bringing the Vixiel, I've got it in manual mode here and I'm just showing you guys. I mean I'm literally walking over a rock here. You can just kind of see what the footage looks like. The stabilization's not bad. I'm definitely, I've only had this tool for about five days now, so I'm really just kind of learning the ropes of how it works. Um, but yeah, this is it, and some of the beautiful outdoor scenery that you can find in the state of Connecticut, uh, Diana's Pond. Why it's called that is a whole, whole other story. just walking back from Diana's Pool, one of the great natural water spots in Connecticut. Uh, this is our second last day in the beautiful town of Storrs and uh, pretty rocky territory here but it's uh, rapids with two sets of falls. We have to be careful there is a strong current and um, I have the 
Canon and Vixie are mounted up on the Ronin SC, getting a good test of its stabilization capabilities in a nature trail. And uh, if you're in the storage area, this place is definitely worth checking out. Quite scenic, as are many things in this part of the world. So talking to a few students from Yukon, Storrs is best known for the University of Connecticut, which is called Yukon in short. And uh, mostly international students right now. Try not to fall over here. Um, 15,000 people live in Storrs. Uh, but there's more. The student, the university really dominates the town. So you can go back to the trail.